Anyway, the main event, Brian Danielson and Okada, and uh, they had a, a great main event. It was not as great as I expected, and part of the reason for that, there were two reasons. A couple uh, reasons. Number one, the crowd was uh, not as into this as they could have been, probably. Because of the Osprey match. I'm not even going to say probably. It was the well, Osprey uh, match. It's because of the Osprey Omega match. They couldn't get, they couldn't get up. You know I mean? If, if we had known what we knew, okay, um, Osprey and Omega should have gone last. However, when I heard that Okada and Danielson was going last, I actually thought, you know what? You put um, Omega and and uh, Osprey. Um, I wouldn't have put them third from the top, maybe fifth, and then like maybe the the Willow match after, you know, or something like that, which would we killed that match. But just a, a little bit of like that. Um, even though I'm more into the traditional thing, you know, where you whatever. But I know that. That match was going to be really hard, and even though they, they kind of got into the Jericho match to you know because of the Jericho, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the Jericho and and uh, Sting stuff was that novelty of never having been done before. That was a really big deal, but when it came to this match, like it was over. Danielson came out to final countdown, which was a one-time thing, um, and. Um, I don't know what the number was, but Tony Khan said it was like the price of a wrestler contract. So I'm thinking that it's a six-figure deal to do that. Man, I don't know. It's like six figures for that pop, but but he did it, you know, and God bless him. You know, I mean, he's probably still going to be making a lot of profit with his company in, in a year or two when he gets that new deal. So I guess it's okay. But um, And maybe he is now even with the new deal, with, the, with this with the current deal. I don't know. But because I don't know the terms of the current deal, but but um, yeah, it's um, like like the, the, the crowd was very into it. They were chanting for both guys. Okada was really over. I thought that the timing of some of the stuff they did was was exceptional, you know, and and their execution was good. Like Okada, it wasn't it was it was like a great Okada match. You know where you get that drop kick out of nowhere and it looks fantastic and and Danielson all you know everything Danielson do, does is good but it was not um, it never reached that level um, and some of it also you know Danielson broke his arm he broke his forearm. well yeah they they did a spot and they ended up on the ramp and Okada gave him a tombstone on the ramp and then he threw him into the ring, and he hit a flying elbow, and Brian said he had his arm in the wrong spot, and so he broke his arm. And at that point, they did a spot, which uh, I, I presume they came up with this on the fly because he broke his arm, but he acted like he was having a seizure, which a lot of people did not like that spot at all. And so the doctor came into the ring to check on him, and then it was really weird. Like, the doctor's checking on this guy who allegedly is having a seizure in storyline. And Okada just walks over to the doctor and goes, eh, get out of here, buddy. And so the doctor got out of the ring. And Okada picks him up, starts beating his ass more, and then Brian makes a big comeback. And, With you know, he's arm. doing this whole comeback, and he's got his arm by his side. And, you know, some of these spots, in you know, Okada had to grab the wrist for the, you know, the Rainmaker and everything. So, you know, he's he's not using the arm, but every now and then he has to use the arm for something. And... You know, I was sitting there watching that going, this guy is either the best worker I ever saw in terms of selling or he's got a fucked up shoulder or arm. Ended up being the arm. And yeah, but so Andrade, at the end, Andrade, Andrade sold the same way last week. This was way better because I, I knew that Andrade's was doing the Yeah, well, it's way better because it was real. Well, yeah. So, I mean, if this had been a sell job, it would have been way better than Andrade. But it wasn't because he broke his arm. And then finally he puts on the label lock. And so, you know, he has to clasp his hands for the label lock, but he can't get his arms clasped. And so he ends up using his, his leg to also arm bar Okada in a modified label lock. And, uh, and he ends up tapping out. And so Brian won. And, you know, I watched the finish and I was just watching him manipulate everything with his legs because his arm didn't work. And I thought, this guy may be so smart that he worked this arm to do this finish where he used his legs to submit Okada but it but turns no, out he no. just did it because he had a broken arm and uh and he'll he be thought out on, six to and eight he weeks. thought on the, and he thought on the fly yeah it was amazing you know they 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 changed like I don't know how much they changed but they changed the last several minutes of the match 
because they had to. Well, they had to, yeah. Yeah. So uh, Brian won and certainly gets the impression they're going to do a rematch at some point that Okada will win on a New Japan show, but I guess we shall see. But he was in good spirits. He had his arm in his sling at the uh, press conference and, you know, talked about how he wanted to go and break Okada's arm next time and had a list of guys he wanted to wrestle. And you know, so he, he was he he thinks he'll be out six to eight weeks. But given that, you know, he hasn't had x-rays and everything like that, you know, I mean, it may be premature. But um, so he also mentioned that he is recovering from a torn labrum that he got in the match with Max, which is why he's done so little wrestling so far this year. He swore his labrum. And a compressed vertebra. Well, now, where was that from? I think he said for the MJF match as well. Oh, man. You know, it's like you're getting... I mean, that match was a brutal match. That's the one thing is, is like with these matches, these matches at that level where you're hitting so hard and you're doing stuff like that, it's um you know the the i you know the thing is is like uh, there was a generation like rick flair and barry windham and these guys you know 35 years ago ricky steamboat they could do a match of the year and they could do it twice on the same day and these guys are doing matches that are i mean like like you can't you you know you can do it every couple of months. These guys, these guys, like the the one thing about the AEW is the guys have 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 at, at times they go so far in the match because they know that they got a, like a week or longer to rest. You know, even maybe usually two weeks that there's like not the thing of like, dude, you know, I got to be able to do my match tomorrow. You know what I mean? They don't have that in their head. And so it, it it enables them and to to mentally think of going much farther. And that's why like in AEW there is you know, it's one of those things I I mean I, I first heard that when, when I would talk hang talk to the all Japan guys. And um, this is in the nineties when, you know, everybody else was doing fifty two weeks a year and they're doing twenty eight. But they'd do like three week on and then do like three weeks off type of a thing, right? So they would do the Budokan, and it's like, I don't got to wrestle for three weeks. I'm going to go home. I can rest. So they would go out there. But if you look at history and what happened is all those guys ended up fucked up, you know, whether it was painkillers, whether whatever, because um, they would go so far out thinking, hey, I can rest for three weeks, which a guy in the United States would, would could not do that because they had to work the next day. So, um, I mean, it's like, the best kind of matches of the year, like to me, are still like your your Zack Saber stuff, because it's just like it's so technical and it's so fun to watch, but you're not killing yourself. Um, but I mean, with 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 Danielson, I mean Danielson doesn't work reckless at all. It's just, but it's like he works so hard, and and um, man, it's a lot of injuries. You know, for for um, you know, for a guy who's done two singles matches, um, well, he's, more, he's done two singles matches in the last couple of months, and you know, gotten hurt in, in all of them. And I know this one's more of a, this one was more of a fluke. The Max match was just so brutal, but uh, man, just hopefully, hopefully that you know, you you start piling up injuries like that, that's it's not a good thing either. You can also find me at Vincent Verhai on Cameo. Oh my God! I will send you a happy birthday wish. <laughs> I will send you a happy anniversary wish. Granny, you ever thought about being on Cameo? What is it? My computer, my front page is uh, uh, Microsoft, and I g go through there and see all kinds of lies and stuff like that. And here you are, you're doing a commercial, and then you had me on there when I was ranting about WrestleMania. Did you get my permission? Oh, okay. Wait, what? Just, what? Just stop you're, for a second. Your front page is Microsoft. I guess. I don't even know what that means, your front page is Microsoft. What do you mean you go through there and see all the lies? What does that mean? Well, they have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, about this and that and this and that, you know, all kinds like of news. Like the news? News? I don't post the videos. I don't edit the videos. If you saw some video or some commercial, I have no idea what it is or where it came from or who edited it together. I'm sure it was someone from the site. It's not, no, Tony, it's not Tony, and it's not Dave, and it's not me. 
And it's not Vinny. He's busy doing cameos. That's right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.